I can see perfectly. Ah, the joy of blind bags, where you uh, don't actually know what you're paying your money for, and as a direct result have to buy about 40,000 of them to complete a set of 12. Hooray for toy manufacturers. Anyway, this is a feature which has escaped from my extras channel, for the reason that the extras channel was supposed to be for weird little extra bits, and not for loads of new content, and everything's becoming fragmented. So we're going to bring it all back to the main channel, where I'll be doing probably one long and one short video a week, because I'm mental in the face. Speaking of which, this is how this feature works, if you've not come across it before. I will open one of these blind bags. If the item in it pleases me, it can be ascended to the shelf of interesting items, an ever-rotating collection of little things to look at. If I don't like it so much, and it doesn't please me, it will be terminated with extreme prejudice. And there are also various interstitial states, but uh, they don't come into play that often. So, The Hobbit, Series 1, collect them all! Yes, already they think they're going to be doing more than one series, great. An Unexpected Journey, or to give it its original title, Too Many Fucking Dwarves. Yeah, basically this is the big blockbuster out in cinemas at the moment. I don't know if you've seen it yet, but uh, I have, and it's alright. Um, the first third was quite amazingly dull, um, but it really does pick up later on. And there's too many fucking dwarves. Did I mention that? So, nothing on the back of interest at all, apart from a thousand warnings in a million languages. Possibly some of them being ancient Elvish and Klingon, I haven't checked. Not to three sad onions, always a good sign, and officially licensed by every company that's ever existed. Let's see what the mini figures are like. Answer. Oh. That's not good. The Hobbit minifigures. Oh, what? So they're not painted or anything? They're just sort of silver or gold or bronze? What? Oh, well that's very disappointing. I like these things to be painted and bright and not just like a silver lump of Gandalf as we've got here. Well, at least it's not one of the bloody dwarves. So how does he fit onto that? Answer. Come, sir. Marvellous. You stay there, mate. Do yourself some magic and summon those fucking eagles like you do every five minutes to completely ruin the plot. Right, so we've got... we could collect Gandalf, holding a stick and his sword. Gandalf, just standing there with a stick. Toriel, don't remember her from the film, that's odd. Gollum, Bilbo Baggins, slightly different Bilbo Baggins. Yazneg, there's a name to go to bed with, he sounds like a sort of 80s new romantic band. Actually looks like he's from an 80s new romantic band. Bolg. That's name of the week. Killy the Dwarf. Dwaylin the Dwarf. Balin the Dwarf. Philly the Dwarf. Thorin Oakenshield. Grinner the Goblin. Beaufort the Dwarf. There's a lot of dwarves. Don't know if I mentioned that. Radagast, who's only interesting because he's played by an old Doctor Who. And a Goblin. Oh, that's a little bit generic and naff, isn't it? And every single one of them is available in three colours. So if you want to obsessively collect the lot and tick your little boxes, you'll have to buy, like, 43 million in order to actually get the whole set. That set me against it from the start. So what are these actually like? Hmm. Detailing's quite good. He's got a bit of a bendy staff going on. That's something you should see the Doctor about. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks vaguely like him, I suppose, but... I don't know. Not very excited from all being in one colour, and especially not that they're sort of changing them between colours. I'll tell you something else that annoys me, actually. I've only got the silver. Couldn't we have the gold one and pretend we came first? Well, I'm not entirely sure what I should do with this. Hang on. I'm getting an idea. I think I'm going to get rid of it. Yeah, definitely not going to keep this one, I don't think. See, this is what really happens if you fight a Balrog. Of course, this is really a pointless exercise. He'll just come back next week as Gandalf the White.